This is Barbara Ritchie. Welcome to the WestchesterNews.com. We're here today with a very sad story about two dogs that are missing. We're going to ask you to listen to this story and help us to find these dogs and bring them home. Two male huskies. One of the dogs' name is Timber Z and the other is Shane D. They're two male huskies. They're beautiful, friendly dogs. You would have to be a pet owner to understand the heartache that this dog owner is going through. We're gonna ask you to listen to this story and help us to find these dogs and bring them home. I decided once I got to the car, I would take Shane, Huckapee, and Petey to go look for uh, Timber Z because he would come out if he was hiding someplace being it was dark and everything, he would come out and jump out to go with them and stuff. Went back there, um, didn't see him anywhere, and thought, oh my god, maybe he went over to the railroad tracks. And that was the stupidest mistake that I did, because by going over towards the railroad tracks, um, that's when Shane um, got bored and decided to go over to his water hole, which I'll show, show you over there. Uh -huh. And he crossed over the railroad tracks over there. Right. and went over that way and I didn't want to bring the other two dogs over on the railroad track being right. it was late and stuff and I knew that he knew where his water hole is and he always he's, he has done it a few times there's never been a problem or anything now Shane is the one that oh, that's, is that's missing the, too yeah the white one that's the him that's that's the, and I just didn't know what to do Right. And I was out here till like 12 midnight looking all over. There was just a bunch of kids down there, um, strangers. Yeah. I didn't know what to, to, how to react appropriately with these people. Or were right. they going to be willing to help me? Were they going to give me a hard time? Then really be helpful? If I had really yeah. thought right and calmed down, I would have realized that um, Timber's deep, deep go that way and just stood there and just screamed my head off and forget about the residents, forget about the other people. But I was being too cautious at the, at the time and stuff. And I should have just said, thrown caution to the wind. You didn't I, trust the, what, what was around you. Right, right. Because you can see how close I was right there, the walk was over. And for over three years or, so, or more, I've been coming here. And I would never ever expect anything, or any, for any reason. I'm sorry. And I'll show you where Shane ran off to. Okay. Timber uh, and Shane tried to scoot over this way, but I don't let them. Why not? When I get to the car, the walk's over. When my walk is over with them, it's over. I'm not going to do anything more or anything like that. They're mischievous. You know, they try and get away with as much as they could. And every once in a while, I will bring them over here. So this is uh, where um, Timber Z was in the water, yeah. played in the water? Yeah, it's all there. And Shane got in here as well. Shane too. Yeah. Okay. It's this 
way, we believe that that's how um, Chimbergi and Shane crossed over to the aqueduct because that goes directly to the aqueduct. And they just were not to be found. Okay. And I did try and go up to those kids over there, but I didn't really feel comfortable because I didn't really know them. No! Go! All right, come on, we're going. Come on. TD! TD! Come on! Come on! These are beautiful animals, and I can vouch how lovable they are, oh, yeah. how friendly they are, how definitely. kissable they are. That's it. Uh, they have real feelings inside. Oh, definitely. Um, and they're just very sweet yeah. dogs. Oh, yeah. These dogs are not vicious at all. No, no, no. no. I'm sure if someone tries to um, attack you, approach you in the wrong way, they'll yeah. sense it, they, yeah. and they'll take their heads off. Right. But they also have a sense that the people who are not uh, wicked. No. They, they, they are very lovable, they right. are very gentle, they're very obedient, and uh, I think that you do the best you can with them. Oh yeah, I do, definitely. You know? This is an amazing and, view though. Yeah, oh yeah, it's beautiful here. It's almost like um, a friend of um, mine and I was sitting here once and we were saying, it's like a picture for, at the Met. At nighttime, it's beautiful. And I went over to this area looking for them, and I came back. I came back several, several times looking, all different times of night. But he wasn't anywhere to be found. Right down here, this is water hole. This is where he goes in the water. Yeah. I was totally flipped out because TZ doesn't disappear, particularly on this train. He never disappears. He's always behind me or always at my side. He's never, huck a pee, he's never anywhere that, um, that isn't, isn't close by to me and, and, and stuff. Um, and, you know, they're always bouncing back and forth and, and, and so on. And I knew at this point uh, to stop, to grab them and bring, bring, them to, bring them to the car. When I turned, he was not there. He was nowhere. Uh, and I've never ever had that happen. And I just, and particularly because TZ, I just totally freaked out because it's just not a norm for him to just like, where did you go? What happened? Where are you? You know, I'm, I, can, I still feel it right now. You know, what? I, I just, just total panic. TZ, TZ, Timberzy. Husky Hada, Husky Hada. And TC would get into this, and Shane would get into this. Husky huddle! And they play. And they play. That's how they play. The great thing about this area is there's water, there's a place to run and everything. Um, oh, I, I never knew the whole scenario of a railroad track and huskies, but, but they just have a, a blast of a time. And they would all do that. And they were that, that rambunctious that night. And I remember I didn't see him, and I remember turning and... I saw, definitely saw Timberzy there, and Shane was off in here, and then he came out, and then, um, which was the stupidest thing I should have done when he, I saw him being overly mischievous here, I should have grabbed Timberzy. And he literally will come to me and oh. jump up and give me his paw. So he can oh, he's a piss. I love him. The guy who saw them on the, in the Yonkers Preserve uh, saw them both together. They're both males. And they're both fixed. They're both fixed, yes. I, every day that they were missing, I was looking or doing something, trying to figure out how to do it. I was filled with so much guilt and stuff. And overall, the Hastings piece was being helpful. Uh, yeah. Sergeant Hayden was being helpful, but, you know, I, I also, being a dog, I understand, you know, people just see they're just dogs. You know, they're not a child or a person missing. Hi, this is Barbara Richie. Help us to find these dogs and bring them home. Thank you for watching thewestchesternews.com.